okay, I'm going to make a new class for a dog. Okay, we're going to use this dog class to model dogs. So picture a dog, a specific dog. That dog might have an age. And another dog, another specific dog, might have a different age. We're going to put that in here as an instance variable. That'll be the dog's age, or it's my age. We need a way to create dogs. That's called a constructor in Java, so I'll add that. When I construct a dog, I want to be able to say how old it is. So I'll take in an integer, and I'll name that integer variable input age. Inside of this constructor, when I create the dog, I need to set the dog's age, my age, uh, to be whatever someone passes in for input age. So I'm going to say this to refer to which dog it is. My age is going to be input age. Let's add a main method, which runs when we run our class, so that we can even try and call this code. So here's what it looks like. Whoa. Public means it can call get called from anywhere. Static means I don't have to have a dog to be able to call this method. Void means it doesn't return anything. Main is just the name of the method. And then this says it can take an input of an array of strings, and that variable name would be called args. And if we just hit the go button in Eclipse, we're not going to be passing in any arguments. But if we called it from a command line, we could. So inside of this main method, let's make a dog. I'm going to name my dog Fido. It's a dog named Fido, and it, I'm going to create it by saying new dog, and that will call the constructor. When I call the constructor, I have to put in an age, and I'll start it at two years old. Now I want to add a method so I, that I can make dogs older. It's void because it won't return anything, and I'll name it get older, and it won't take in any input. All it'll do is say this.myAge equals this.myAge plus one. So the value on the left gets the value on the right. Another way to do this when I'm doing plus one is just to say the variable plus plus, and that adds one to the value. Now inside the main method, I can tell Fido to get older, and it calls that method. And then I've got the, the variable this, which tells me which dog I'm referring to. So I called get older on Fido, so inside get older, this will refer to Fido. Lastly, I want to be able to print out what the dog is, some representation of it. I'll use Java's print method, system.out.println, and I'll type Fido in here. If I run this, I just get this strange dog at 5e8, and it's not very clear. What happens is when I pass a dog object into this print ln or print line method, it tries to call it a two-string method, but I haven't provided a two-string method. So let's provide a two-string method. This two-string method is going to return a string, and it has to have exactly that name, two-string. And this isn't very interesting, but I'll just say this dog is this.myAge years old. I'll add a space there so that the number has a space around it. Now when I run the code, the line system.out.println Fido called this toString method so that it knew how to print or how to represent this dog. Good luck.